Summer in Washington, a time to prepare. For George Washington basketball, the season begins here with workouts in the most iconic of settings. But first, they visit the wall. Almost 60,000 Americans died in the Vietnam War. Here, at their memorial, is where the Colonials start anew. They train. They remember. Each memorizes a name, a name that goes up on another wall at the Smith Center. It kind of was very organic to start, and it started with a small group. I was looking for an outside-the-box way to gain some perspective with our guys. So we did the GW Veterans M4, it was a, a military uh, veteran march, and I saw their eyes light up when they were around the veterans, and I knew I had something there when I saw their reaction. I think it's more than just sets and reps and exercises in terms of what I can provide the guys. You know, a lot of what I try to do is mindset. And every day these guys are here. Um, it's a phenomenal university. Um, they're in their dream set. And so the one thing I wanted our guys to really gain appreciation of is we were remembering those who dreamed so we can see clearer. There's 58,000 plus names on the wall and each one of those individuals had dreams in life and they weren't able to achieve them. So hopefully our guys can uh, you know, gain some perspective from that. We know every Tuesday, Thursday what we're getting into. Sometimes, you know, we may be dreading a little bit, but we know why we're doing it. We take the names down every time we go down to the wall for a reason, acknowledging what they've done when all we have to do is do it for basketball. So, you know, really, when you, when he, when he put it like that, you know, we kind of all took a, a step back and kind of just realized, you know, what they went through um, and knowing that, you know, it, this should be easy for us. There's been a lot of student athlete reactions from the guys. The one that really stands out to me was in summer one uh, when Patricio Garino, we print out all the, the names of the loss on the weight room wall. And he looked at it and he kind of pondered and he said, this guy was 22 years old. And uh, I didn't really have to say anything. I've known Coach John for about six years now, and I know he gets a lot of crazy ideas, but there's always a purpose behind it. And his two words this summer was commitment and sacrifice, and that is the ultimate commitment and sacrifice you can do, like give your life for your country. Just like to see how many people gave their lives for our freedom, for like United States protect my country, Denmark, so I feel like what they died for was something I, so I could live and pursue my dream, so I took that away from them. Coach is the title for me, but mentor is responsibility, so however long they're living and breathing, I just want them to, to remember this and work hard to achieve their dreams, you know, whether that be continuing to play basketball for another, you know, 10 years after they leave G GW here, or if they're a doctor, a lawyer, a businessman, or even a, a husband, you know, so. Um, just, just cherish the moment, seize the day, and, and get the most out of what life has to offer you.